Rike Project Management Tutorial How to use Rike Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, I will show you how you can easily make use of this Rike Project Management software. So without further ago, let's get started. Rike is a project management and collaboration platform that offers several advantages for individuals and teams. Rike also allows users to create and manage tasks in a flexible and customizable way. Tasks can be organized into folders, projects and sub-projects and users can easily set priorities, due dates and dependencies. Rike offers automation features that allow users to streamline repetitive tasks and workflows. Automation can save time and reduce the risk of errors by automating processes such as task assignments, status updates, and notifications. Rike integrates with a variety of third-party tools and applications such as Google Drive, Microsoft Office, and Salesforce. This enables users to connect Rike with other tools they may already be using for seamless workflow integration. Rike is scalable, making it suitable for both small teams and large enterprises. So here to get started, tap on Try Rike for free once you tap on it. This type of page will appear on your screen. Here you need to enter your business email. Once you enter it, then tap on Continue. And here you need to enter your full name, your company name, and then you can uh, change your country, that from which country you are, and then tap on this I agree uh, box and then you need to tap on next once you done this here I add my details and then I can tap on next so second step is that how many people work at your company so here uh, select one box and then tap on next the next step is that here you need to add that what's your team or department so once you add this then uh, tap on this uh, start typing to see suggestions once you uh, write here that what's your job role so here are many options tap on uh, one of the option which relate to your job role once you done this then tap on next and here you need to add your first project then tap on next but here i don't uh, write the name of my projects here so i only tap on next to continue so this is the last step which i done so once you uh, clear all these steps so finally then you are on the dashboard of right here so to get started 14 day trial tap on get started here in green box once you tap on it, uh, now you are on the dashboard of right here. Here I try my best to remove this uh, chart from here on the screen, but it's not. So I leave it and then I go forward here on the left side of the screen. You can see that there are many options like search, inbox, more personal, first space, Space overview, tools, my productivity dashboard, first project, and some other. In search, you can uh, search your tasks, projects, and files here. And here, inbox, you can check your incoming uh, messages, your send messages, and other. In more, you have options like dashboard, reports, timesheets, my to do, and other. And the uh, uh, Next is personal. In personal, you can see space overview tools, create tool, project and folders, create project and folders. Here, next is first space. Here, you can uh, check the overview of space. It's look like this. And then my productivity dashboard and other. And here in tools, you have other options like dashboard, calendar, reports. And the next uh, is project and folders. In project and folder, you can create your project. Here, to create project, you need to add project name and some other details like this. And you can choose default view to create project and then tap on create. But here, I don't create a project, just I check the overview of it. So you can see all the options and all the pages on your screen. 
now check the view of dashboard so tap on more and here's your option of dashboard tap on it and your dashboard will be appear on your screen like this it will take uh, some time to load but uh, wait for it and finally it will open on screen like this then we have option of create and it's in the sign of plus in the top right corner here and once you tap on it here you have other options like projects tasks tap on one of them and you create that thing like i tap on project and here i create project and give the name to my project and there are some default view which uh, i choose and that i add to my project but here i choose i think so i choose calendar and then i tap on create once uh, i done this process it will open on my screen it will open on screen but it uh, take some time and finally it look like this it will open on my screen like uh, that so Rike facilitates uh, collaboration among team members by providing a centralized platform for communication users can comment on tasks share files and have discussions within the platform reducing the need for scattered communication through emails or other tools with Rike, team members can assess real-time updates on project progress. This ensures that everyone is on the same page and has the most current information about tasks, deadlines, and project status. Users can create personalized dashboards to get a quick overview of their tasks and projects. This customization helps individuals tailor the interface to their specific needs and preferences. Rike includes Jan charts and timeline views, allowing users to visualize project timelines and dependencies. This feature helps in planning and tracking project milestones more effectively. Rike offers automation features that allow users to streamline repetitive tasks and workflow. Automation can save time and reduce the risk of errors by automating processes such as task assignments status updates and notification. The platform allows for easy document sharing and management. User can attach files directly to tasks and with integrations, they can collaborate on documents in real time using popular cloud storage services. Rike offers mobile applications for various platforms allowing users to assess and manage their tasks on the go. This enhances flexibility and ensures that team members can stay productive even when away from their desk. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.